Okay, shading a horizontal cylinder shift. So the, the um, cast shadow has been constructed. Um, so I'm going to just color that in with a dark gray. Back and now the ellipsis on the ground surface. And I'll try to keep that just a little bit round here. Okay. So there's my cast shadow. And now I'm going to consider the light direction. The light's coming from here. So around here, I want to have my lightest part. So let's just, I'll just start with a um, an N2. Um, and I'll do this side first. Uh, this is the side with the, um, which is going to need the gradient. So a few light bits. Now I'm going to define or decide about where I want my highlight. The light should be fairly high. So um, let's just draw another few more lines here. Bring the highlight up closer to the surface which is um, perpendicular to the light source. Um, so that should be around about here. Um, okay, once I've got that I'll, I can leave an open space with white. And here I'll just go over with some more. Right, great, now I'm going to take a darker gray marker and I'm going to try to create some darker tones here and also here on the back. So basically fairly simple. Consider the direction of the where the light's coming from and darken any surface which is moving away from that. Um, so we'll darken this a bit more. And as you can see, it's getting form. That's why I call it a form shadow. It's a shadow on the form. Okay, um, and now consider the vertical surfaces. This vertical surface is in the shadow side, so that should be shaded just like you would shade the shadow side of a cube shape. So it's going to be also, in this case, an N4. Um, we'll start by just getting a bit of an edge. And what's nice about your shadow side is you can shade right into your dark gray on the shadow. So we've got at least one edge, which is easy. Okay. We put a little bit of life in that. So there's some reflected light that's coming into it. Okay. Um, Check your tones, and if you think oh, I can darken a little bit more here and there, then you can always do that just to get your contrast, uh, your tone, your form shadows nice, working nicely. Um, yeah, maybe just find this one. Okay, and um, that's that.